How you doing? It's Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. Today I want to talk about something simple that we all take for granted. We use them every day in our line of work. So we cut and strip wires every single day. Something that we take for granted is a high quality pair of wire cutters, dikes, cutters, whatever you want to call them. When you've been, a lot of you younger guys think it's no big deal, a cutter is a cutter. Anybody that's been in the game as long as me, I've been doing this over 20 years, knows that when you get a set that feels perfect, the weight of it, how it feels in your hand, how it cuts, how, uh, how freely and easily it moves, you don't want anybody else touching it. I just got a new set of cutters, and trust me, I've had 20, 30, 40 pairs of cutters over the years. These are my new favorite. I caught Saul using them the other day. I almost cut his fingers off with them. When you find the perfect set of cutters, you don't want anybody touching them. You want to break them in properly. And then that's the problem. Trust me, I've been through a lot. A lot of people use these combo crimper cutters. Don't like them. They're too stiff, take a while to break in. And the cutting blade is not long enough. These are the older snap-on ones. These were my favorite for a while. Tried these for a while. Never really glued on me with the, the weird angle on them. My other snap-on favorites. Uh, Clipex ones were in my other toolbox. These I never really liked. Also, the spring on them is too strong, the cutting blade. These are my new personal favorites. Personal, 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 personal. They're the new Snap-on ones. It's got the new Ergo handle. These are incredible. The problem with cutters like these, you have to oil them and break them in because they become too stiff. Anybody that's been doing this forever knows you want to be able to open and close your cutter with your pinky. Be able to open and close it with your pinky. And when you're working, you should take absolutely no effort. You should cut like butter. These, brand new out of the pack, take a lot of oiling and polishing to get them to move freely like this. So, I had four or five of these. These are about a year, year and a half old. These are not broken in yet. I hate using these. These, fresh out of the pack, move perfectly. They have a little spring built in, so if you don't like the spring, you can snap it off. The problem with a lot of these cutters that have a spring built in is the spring is too stiff. These are perfect, perfect, perfect. I know there's a couple of companies that make a similar one. Uh, I know you guys have, these are by far my favorite, 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 favorite. Any installer that thinks that a good pair of cutters isn't a big deal, still a rookie. Once you find a favorite pair of cutters, if you lose them or break them, you will be heartbroken. I'm gonna have to buy a couple more of these to keep them in the stash in case they discontinue it. Car, a couple of my car audio friends, uh, have posted that they've discontinued their favorite ones. So I recommend you definitely try these out. These are the Snap-on EPC160 Edward Paul, Edward Paul Charles 160. I definitely, definitely recommend you try them. They cut, they're super sharp. I don't know what kind of metal they're made out of, but it cuts through almost anything. Since I'm the only one that uses them, the blades are still perfect. Uh, I feel kind of silly being so excited over something so simple, but it's been years since I found a high quality cutter. These were my favorite. They are now not retired, but um, moved. They're, they, they're now in second place. These are the new be all and all. Definitely recommend them, especially with Snap-on. You can try it. If you don't like it, they'll take them back. I'm not giving these back. Uh, Thank you. I hope this helps somebody. Definitely give them a shot. I love these things. See you next week.